Senator Ted Cruz gave Yale students a reality check over the attempts to silence Did conservatives at their school and campuses all across America. And I got it. Is that not the most inherently contradictory statement ever? They're trying to silence people, but he went to their school to talk to them. Okay, so it seems like he's not being silenced and conservatives aren't being silenced if they're going to schools. I mean, earlier in the stream, we talked about Ben Shapiro going to a college. I literally said, I used rap speech, not general. You sound like a bozo, bro. And you get no pussy and you can't even make your wife wet, bro. So what's good? <laughs> so are you getting silenced or are you not? Which is it? Because I see conservatives speaking at college campuses all the time. I mean, am I able to say that I'm being silenced because I've never been invited to speak at a college campus? Can I claim that I'm being censored? I mean, what's the standard? I'm just curious. When you come out of school, most places you work are not safe spaces. Most bosses are not going to be overly worried about injuring your fragile feelings. Ted Cruz wouldn't know this. Uh, because I don't think he's ever had a real job. I don't think he's ever had a real job. This is a career politician who hasn't had any experience with the real world. Now, yeah, of course it's true. Jobs treat workers like shit. But all this talk of safe spaces is like the anti-SJW rhetoric that YouTubers were bitching about in the 2014, uh, 2015 post Gamergate era. Like, why are you still talking about this, dude? Move the fuck on. Senator Cruz, along with many others, also signing an open letter demanding that Yale punish the disruptors. Wait, you, you just talked about freedom of speech and now you want to punish the disruptors? I thought that he was giving them a reality check about the necessity of freedom of speech and how, you know, life, you know, once, you, once you're out of college, there's not going to be any safe spaces. But yet he wanted a safe space to talk about how safe spaces are bad. I mean, can they not be consistent for at least two seconds to prove their fucking point? Like, even while they're making their point, they are brazenly and shamelessly hypocritical. Jesus Christ, you want to punish the disruptors? That's freedom of speech too, motherfucker. It goes both ways. God damn, they just don't even care about looking like imbeciles protesters at last month's free speech what event. The Author fuck? of the Rubin Report host, Dave Rubin, joins us now to react. Dave, what about the, the senator going back uh, to the eye of the storm with that school of thought, which was remarkably unpopular with the student body? Well, good for... It was unpopular, but he still went. So he w was he silenced? Ted Cruz, and of course, Ted yeah. Cruz is completely right here. Look, you have a right to protest. It's the most American right there is. You but Ted Cruz is trying to punish them. Did you not listen to the segment, Dave? He signed an open letter trying to punish the disruptors. That's freedom of speech. Seems like he's the censorian, right? Seems like he's the SJW who wants a safe space. So which is, like, I'm so confused, right? My head is spinning. Are we pro-free speech? Are we anti-free speech? Which is it? Voice your opinion and you can do it peacefully and properly. And that's what the free exchange. Of so only peacefully and properly? Can I not be loud when I voice my opinion? I mean, what are the parameters when it comes to freedom of speech? Really, what this is about is freedom of speech for me and not thee. That's really what this is about. And I want to be able to go on college campuses, talk shit about trans people, talk shit about gay people, scold the woke left, and I don't want no pushback. Otherwise, you're a censorian. No, they're allowed to do that. Free speech goes both ways. Ideas is all about what you can't do is use your free speech to shout down somebody else. You can't. Uh, you absolutely can. That's what free speech is, bitch. You can absolutely use your freedom of speech to shout someone down. So if somebody has a microphone and they're speaking to a crowd of people, if you don't like them and you heckle them, that's a violation of their free speech. But isn't a viol isn't it a violation of free speech to silence the heckler? I mean, I, I don't think they understand the concept of freedom of speech. Doors, you can't pull fire alarms, the litany of other things that we've seen st students do over the last, you know, five to ten years or so. Wait, so, okay. So he's acknowledging that there are limits to freedom of speech, which is, which is correct, right? The First Amendment doesn't guarantee absolute speech. You can't yell fire in a crowded uh, room. Uh, but he's saying that these students, they actually, they crossed the line. Their speech wasn't protected speech. 
Okay, what in particular? Because they protested and they shouted at people who gave speeches at their schools, they crossed the line? I mean, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They just use the words freeze peach to make a point and make their opponents seem like authoritarians when in actuality, they're just as snowflakey as the people who they're denouncing. And it's sort of like at this point, enough is enough. We have let the inmates run the asylum at virtually every college in America. And until the administrators, the professors, the donors, until they all decide uh, this can't happen anymore, it's going to continue to happen. I so you're saying that the donors and the administrators should shut this down? Doesn't that sound like cancel culture? I thought that, that was also bad. Dave Rubin was screeching at the top of his lungs about cancel culture. I'm pretty sure that Ted Cruz was shrieking about this quite a bit as well. But now all of a sudden cancel culture good? I mean, do you understand? They are completely inconsistent. They have no core political ideology. It's just the left bad, woke bad. And that's it. That's that's their entire ideology. That's not an oversimplification. I expect at this point the institutions are probably too infected and we just need to build new things because it doesn't seem no matter how many times. Build new things. We just need to build new things. Okay, Dave, riddle me this. Let's say that we were able to build like all conservative institutions, you know, conservative college campuses and you can't go if you're a lib definitely free speech by the way do you think that you'd be welcome dave as you walk in and introduce everyone to your uh, to your uh, husband and your children to them do you think that these institutions would welcome you i think that you got a reality check not too long ago and that they don't welcome you they don't want you to be part of your club dave because you're gay they're homophobic and bigoted so this whole alternate thing that you want to build specifically for conservatives not only does it sound like a safe space but it's interesting that you think they'd welcome you there dave how naive you are you guys talk about it <laughs> nothing or I changes talk about it or ben shapiro talks about it they just keep marching so maybe we just actually need new th that's freedom of speech and we just need new things it sounds like you want a fucking safe space do they not feel embarrassed how ironic this statement is it just goes right over his fucking head they want a safe space so because they want a safe space we actually need the safe space because they're mean to us shut the fuck up well that, that's a great point but the is it a great point what point did he make we were looking at where the the speakers were shouted down is it was a free speech event and they didn't want to hear one sounds like they were exercising their uh freedom of speech does it not Side of it, and I think it was about a week after that. Then a, a federal judge suggested on appeals court suggested he sent an email out to other judges, and he said, "I don't think we should hire clerks from Yale Law School because I don't know that they can be fair, <laughs> given the fact that they won't even listen to both sides of a story." Well, Brian, first off, it's 2022. Irony is long since dead. So oh, it sure the fuck is, and you motherfuckers killed it. Well, there's nothing we can do on the irony factor. Uh, <laughs> Agreed. Yes, I mean, this is Agreed the right there, it's Dave. It's not just <laughs> that we're allowing these kids to shout down speakers who are invited. That's freedom of speech. That's what freedom of speech is. They're using their freedom of speech. Do you not, not like it? Are you a fucking snowflake? Are you trying to cancel them? I just feel like they have to understand how inherently contradictory what they're saying is, but they don't. Holy shit, what a smooth brain thing to say. By the school, I mean, we're, in Ted Cruz's case, we're talking about a sitting senator, right? Uh, it's not so? just that, it's that then the education that these kids get, the very things exactly. they learn, the things that law students should learn related to the exchange of free speech and protest and peaceful protest, they're learning all the wrong things. Then they get out into, into the real world. And as Ted Cruz said, you get out to the real world, you have a real job, you better be ready for occasionally someone might say something upsetting to you and it doesn't, get, it doesn't mean you get to burn down the office you're in or take down mm -hmm. the company with you, which seemingly Who's is happening all over the country. Dave, oh, it's happening just... all over the country. Oh, okay. Can you name one example of somebody uh, having their feelings hurt and then they like burnt down their job? Can you name a single example of that, Dave? Don't think so. Burn down because your book is called Don't Burn This Country. Surviving That's why he said it to plug his fucking book. What a grifter. What a grifter. Surviving and thriving in our woke dystopia. Yeah.
the same uh, woke people who he's denouncing, who he fo- who like fought to get him the right to marry and are still fighting for acceptance of him and his husband and children. He's saying they want to burn down the country. Dave, I cannot deal with how stupid you are. I swear to God, of all the conservatives, he is the worst because he's not even good at grifting. It's just it's so transparent and it's embarrassing. But he's lucky enough that conservatives are so stupid that they don't realize he's taking advantage of them for purposes of just getting rich thriving in our woke dystopia and it's on sale today it reminds me of what ronald reagan said in his inaugural address in 19 uh, what he say what he say what did ronald reagan say the actor seven and this is a quote from it freedom is a fragile thing and it's never more than one generation away from extinction it is not ours by way of inheritance it must be fought for and defended constantly by each generation for it comes only once to a people oh yes and it's definitely the right Ronald Reagan's party who's doing that as these dumb fucks talk about freedom of speech, but then they champion the don't say gay bills that are popping up all across the country. When Florida introduced their don't say gay law and then inevitably signed it into law, uh, more states did. Now we're at like 12 states that have their own version of don't say gay. And that's basically don't ask, don't tell for teachers, forcing teachers into the closet. It's a form of censorship. And can you guess what their position was on this? Can you guess what Dave Rubin said about the don't say gay bill? that it's good as a gay person he's literally like oh no i think that we should be forced into the closet because it's bad to groom kids and i also canceled my disney plus membership now he canceled it before over the gina carana thing uh but i guess he got disney plus again and then because disney admitted that they want to include more lgbtq representation he joined in with the GOP and Republican propagandists who were screeching about this. And he canceled his Disney Plus membership because Disney wants to include LGBTQ plus representation. Now, that's bad, apparently, because if kids know that gay and trans people exist, then you're grooming them. They'll be groomed into that lifestyle because it works that way. So it's going to be really, really difficult for Dave Rubin to raise two kids with his husband. I don't know if he's going to lie to his children and say that his husband is actually like his bestie. I don't know how he's going to do that. Because if he is agreeing with the GOP that if kids know about the existence of homosexuals, then that's grooming them. How are you going to thread that fucking needle, Dave? How are you going to walk that fine line? How are you going to do it? Aren't you grooming your kids? Aren't you agreeing with them that you're a groomer then? I mean, of course you're not a groomer, but this is the party who you simp for, dummy. (laughs) okay this is almost finished tell us about your book man does that quote ring true now or what in essence that very much man does that quote ring true or what you don't you weren't even listening dave you were just Basically thinking, oh my God, shut the fuck up. I want to plug my book. Please just let me get to the book plugging. And here you are. We'll let him plug his book. Since I dunked on him enough, I owe him at least the ability to respond by plugging his dumb fucking book. This is what the book is about. You know, we can all mock the woke kids and make fun of them for the gender pronouns. And the- I mean, it seems like your conservative colleagues are mocking you, Dave Rubin. They think that you're inferior because you're gay. And they think that you're a child abuser because you're bringing children into this world with your husband. Like, seems like you're the one who's getting mocked. And the woke people are the ones who are defending you saying, hey, that's kind of fucked up that they're treating Dave Rubin like this. I mean, I get that Dave Rubin is a piece of shit, but still he's a human being. And being, you know, married to a man and bringing kids into the world is perfectly fine. Those kids are probably, I mean, it's Dave Rubin. So hopefully his husband is more intelligent than he is. But I mean... Just being gay doesn't mean that you're inherently going to be bad parents, right? So, I mean, it's the fucking woke who's fighting for you. You should probably thank them, but instead he's shitting on them because he wants to make money by grifting with his right-wing audience. Suddenly two plus two is five, and that being non-racist is suddenly racist. Two plus two is... Motherfucker, that's what they're... They're saying, oh, well, two men can't have babies, and you're having a baby, and then they're shitting on you for it. Like, goddamn, it, like the lack of self-awareness here is just astonishing to me. The rest of the stuff. But you have to give the devil his Ooh. due. That really is what this book is about. They have marched through our cultural institutions, our educational That's institutions. what you're doing by having a kid. I mean, conservatives say that the gays are grooming children and they're ruining the traditional marriage. And uh, you're saying, oh, no, I'm not part of that. They think you're part of it, Dave. They don't like you. 
Holy shit. Institutions, as we just talked about, are political institutions. They have they have brought in collectivism, socialism, communism, Marxism, whatever you want to call it. I and wish. they are destroying the foundation of America, starting with the foundational documents and the history of America. You know what's also destroying the foundation of the family? Homosexuality. Dave, that's what they'd say. And uh, they say that you're doing that and you're still doing propaganda for them. No dignity. No fucking dignity. Yeah, Dave, your parents probably didn't hug you. I mean, it's like you want to feel bad for him because he subjects himself to homophobic abuse on the daily. But at the same time, like this is the life that he chose for himself. He decided to put money over his own human dignity and he's like laying in the bed that he made for himself. And it's just it's pathetic and everything else. This book is really, hey, give them some credit. You don't you may not like what they did, but they've done it. We all know it every day. Another crazy story comes out that we all have to cover. What, what can you do in the midst of that? to not just survive, but thrive. There are things like, hey, maybe don't go to college and get $150,000 into debt and then have some job that you don't really like. Maybe learn a trade. Right. There's all sorts of ways. You know, take care of your digital assets so you're not so reliant on big tech. And that's know how you defeat you think the and why you think it. These are sort of basic things in some way, but we need them now more than ever because, as I said earlier, these guys are not stopping, and we all know it. Great ideas, great book. Check it out. You can. I don't get what the solution is, but if I'm part of the woke mob, Dave, then um, I've got really bad news for you. We are not going to stop. We will keep wokeifying everything. We will keep pushing. We will continue to be a thorn on the side of you regressive, reactionary dipshits. Because um, fuck you, fuck you. Like if. Dave Rubin's friends had their way, he would not be allowed to get married at all. But yet he's fighting for the enemy. He's fighting for the contingent in America that thinks that gay people are evil and pedophiles. Dave Rubin is disgusting. Tucker, care to weigh in? No? Okay. Ideas. 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 Ideas.